When it comes to medium format point and shoot cameras, the options are pretty limited. But luckily enough for us film shooters, one of the options that is available is an absolute jackpot. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite medium format cameras and why I plan on never selling it. The Fuji GA645, a medium format point and shoot style film camera originally released in 1995. It's compact, considering the format, and fully automated. I'm talking autofocus, auto exposure, and auto wind. Has a built-in meter and a fixed 60mm f4 lens. In my opinion, it's the perfect camera if you're looking for a larger negative, but still want something that's easy to use and is going to stay out of your way. I've owned this camera for about two months now, and I originally picked it up for about $350 US which seems to be the going rate for one in good condition. I already own a Pentax 672, which I shoot most of my medium format work on, but I really wanted to try and find something that was a little smaller and lighter, uh, just for those times where I'm traveling or looking to work a little more on the fly. The Pentax 67 is a great camera that I absolutely love, but it's a bit of a bigger kit to haul along sometimes. Also, the Fuji being a 6x4.5 format, it gives me 16 images per roll of 120, compared to 10 on the Pentax 67. So the funny thing with this camera is that when I first got my hands on it, I actually really didn't like it. I ran one roll of film through it and almost decided to put it back up for sale. But after I got my scans back from the lab and then I ran a few more rolls of film through it, I actually think now it's a camera that I'll never end up selling. So on that note, I want to start off by talking about what I initially didn't like about this. The GA645 isn't a true rangefinder camera, but it's similar in a sense that it uses a viewfinder with frame lines for composing. I personally prefer an SLR over a rangefinder any day of the week. I like to compose my image through the lens and not using frame lines. And for that reason, the Fuji felt awkward for me at first. But that's just my personal preference. So if you're a rangefinder shooter, you can probably ignore this point. I wanted to mention it though, as I think it's important for anyone who has never shot with a rangefinder before to know that it will take some getting used to. The second thing is that when you're holding the camera normally, the viewfinder is actually in the portrait orientation, not landscape orientation like most cameras. To shoot in the landscape orientation, you actually have to turn the camera on its side like this, which felt really strange at the beginning. But I found like with any new camera, the more you use it, the more you get to know it. And now the rangefinder and the orientation of the viewfinder feel pretty comfortable for me. It's important to note too that this camera definitely isn't quiet. It's not actually the shutter that's loud because the lens uses a leaf shutter, but it's the autofocus and the auto wind. As you can hear, the autofocus is pretty loud. So now I want to move on to what I love about this camera. And the first thing is probably the usability. I really think with a point and shoot, it should be all about just freeing yourself from your gear and allowing you to just focus purely on the composition, the light and your subject. This camera absolutely lets you do that. The autofocus and the internal meter are super accurate. And I'm pretty sure that I haven't had an image yet that's been out of focus or incorrectly exposed. The auto wind is also very convenient and all three of those features add up to an experience that is about as automated and easy as they come. I wouldn't want to shoot all of my work like this, but it really is a nice change at times to free yourself from the tripod and just walk around with a camera like this. The GA645 can be shot in manual mode, but I prefer to use aperture priority and let the camera select the shutter speed for me. You can also set the ISO manually, which is pretty awesome. I typically shoot Portra 400 or Fuji 400H in this camera, and rating it at 200 gives me some peace of mind, seeing as I am relying on the camera's internal meter. The second thing I love about this camera has to be the lens. You know, I read a lot of reviews online about the GA645 before I bought it, and people often raved about the lens. I figured it'd be good, but I didn't know it would be this good. The 60 millimeter Super EBC lens blew me away. The sharpness color and the way it renders tonality throughout an image is pretty incredible. This is one of those rare instances where I feel like I fell in love right away, and it's inspiring to know that this camera can produce a really high quality negative. The 60 millimeter focal length is roughly equivalent to 35 mil in the 135 format, which is my personal favorite. Overall, this is a camera that does its job very well. It's accurate, simple to use, and incredibly capable. For me, it's important to use tools that are going to be able to keep up with each other. Even though it's a point-and-shoot style of camera, the GA645 is impressive. 
It's nice to know that I can throw to my bag and count on it to produce results that will stand up with most higher end gear. Thank you.